Hey guys, it's Josh here. Welcome to Quick Tip of the Week. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to use the burn and the dodge tool. Let's get started. Okay, so today I'm going to be teaching you how to use the burn and the dodge tool. Now this is a quick example of what I've been using in many manipulations that I've been doing recently. So let's get into it. So first off we're going to uh, make sure the background is editable. And then um, what we're actually going to do really really quickly is just make sure that it has a nice color to it. So um, usually when you use the burn and dodge tool it's on a, it's on a, um, um, it's on a very darker um, form of a uh, of a picture so I'm just gonna quickly do that um, really really quickly just to go to adjustments so I'm gonna do a gradient overlay and make sure that it's just a nice black and white and then I'm just gonna put it to overlay and now it's more uh, it's just darker so that's really good that's all we really need um, okay so now that we have the gradient overlay over top all that's all we need to uh, do with that just leave that there and then make sure you have the original um, the original picture selected okay so what the burn tool does now here is everything that you need to do um, which is adjusting up here so here is the um, different brushes that you can use it doesn't matter what you use okay so then here is the just uh, what we're actually going to use is just um, zero hardness and then choose a um, sorry for my phone and then choose a um, size that you want to do so I'm actually going to choose a bigger size because this is quite a big um, picture okay so we have that, now we're gonna do uh, range. It's fine, mid-tones, it doesn't really matter. I'm just gonna leave it at mid-tones. The exposure is how much is gonna, is gonna happen for each click, okay? So that's quite a bit right there. Okay, so if you don't want that, that much happening, then you can just bring it back down to maybe 50 or so, and then it's much less for at each click. So that's a, it'll work, work a lot better. And then here you don't worry about it, just leave it as is, okay? So first we're gonna actually um, put these over here to maybe a bit of a darker, um, maybe a bit of a darker color, just to make it have a more nicer, uh, just a nicer effect. And then we're gonna go to the dodge tool and put the more darker areas over here, just a tiny bit lighter. Now here I don't, it looks nice, but it's, uh, it doesn't work for everything. So I'm actually gonna turn this a little bit darker just to give it a little bit more detail because usually when it becomes lighter you can't see as much detail into it and in many manipulations all, all it is is about detail so you have to make sure that you see the detail so make sure that it's not too bright and make sure that it's not too dark so that's basically how you use the burn and dodge tool it's really about your um, creativity and what you can use and how you can use it now as you can see you can see a lot more detail once I have darkened the area that I have chosen Okay, so this is a really good tip for many manipulations. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you want to learn more about Photoshop, Adobe After Effects, um, Ad um, Cinema 4D, and Adobe Illustrator, then please do subscribe, guys. Thanks, and I'll see you later.